Clouds are one of those atmospheric artifacts that helps enhance the visual quality of exterior shots for both architectural visualization or animation, and getting high quality ones are not easy to come by. But today we're looking at Cloudscapes, which is a hyper-realistic VDB cloud collection that allows you to place clouds within your scene with ease. And Cloudscape is made available by the folks at B Production, which are the same creators of vegetation, forestation, real wood, and global light textures. And for those who like to see more of this, there's going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can check out the Cloudscape. The Cloudscape collection currently ships with 211 cloud assets and are categorized into 9 large cloud families with 2 additional set of categories that offer smoke trails and miscellaneous for extra cloud details. Alongside this, this works with Biome Scatter which is a free add-on that we've already talked about on the channel before and you can simply use that or you can use the GeoScatter to actually work with the included .scat file that offers lots of presets that comes with this. And for those who like to get this for a lower price, there is a 25% launch offer that you can simply grab. Now once you download this add-on, you will find two files. One is the .scat file and the Cloudscape RAR file. Now you need to simply unzip this by simply using Banzip, 7-zip or WinRAR. Now with this folder here, let's go ahead and fire up Blender. And with Blender simply open, all you need to do is go over to Edit, go over to Preference, go over to your file path and include the unzip Cloudscape folder within the path. And with that done, we need to click on the bugger menu and save your preference. And once you save your preference and close this, you can go ahead and drag out the asset browser. So once you drop into the asset browser or you go over to the asset browser, if you click on the drop down where it says all, you would notice that we have Cloudscape. Now we do have nine different categories and two additional categories which deals with miscellaneous, which are these ones, and you have the smoke trails. So if you're looking for Cirrus, Cumulus, Stratus, the Auto Cumulus and the Auto Stratus, or any of these ones, you'll definitely find high quality clouds that you can drag into your viewport that you can start creating stuff with. So at this point, you do have lots of options. Now, one thing I would like to mention that to each of these clouds that you have within the VDB section, you have a density property, which you can always use. And to preview this, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go over to your rendering section and switch this to cycles, because by default, if you switch this to EV and do a simple render, you probably would not be able to enjoy all of the things that Cloudscape brings to the table. So what we need to do is to switch this over to cycles and we have this rendering. Now in this case, I would like to get rid of the light by simply hiding that and we'll go over to our world properties and click on the yellow node within the cloud section and change this to sky texture. Now, once we do that, you'll notice that we have a full Nishita sky texture happening here. And of course you can definitely change this sky texture to any of these ones, but we would like to keep this and we'll set this to 0.2. Now, once we have that, you can now proceed to start making some interesting changes just in case you like to explore with the shaders. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of these other ones. So let's just simply hide them. And I'll also select that and hide that. Select this, press the period key on your keyboard to zoom right in. Let's explore the kind of things that we can do with this. So what we have going on here is a simple Alto Stratus. So within the Alto Stratus, if you like to make some changes, let's say shader base changes, you can. So I can go all the way and switch this to shader and within the shader editor, we can make some interesting changes. If you like to have higher density, of course you can. So you do have some interesting density right here. And right over here, you'd also have some other stuff like the anisotropy. So we can have the anisotropy going on there if this is what we want. Right here, we do have the black body intensity and you notice by simply dragging this out, we have some sort of flame-like thing going on. You don't really see this because we still have our temperature property set to temperature. We remember earlier, we said that this comes with one property type, which is known as density. So if we grab this and go over here and type in the word density, we can now proceed to play with the black body intensity and we can drop the temperature all the way down. Actually, let's drop the density all the way down and we can crank this all the way up. All right, so once we have this, let's set this to one and we can also play with the temperature to either take this down or bring it up. So right there, we have the temperature dropped all the way down and the more we crank the temperature up, the more you notice that we've just converted this to flames. And this can be applied to every other cloud that you have. So one of the cool things with this is to most of the objects that you have within your scene, you can definitely use the same shader across all of them. Now, something else that I think that most of you guys would love to work with is creating clouds automatically without thinking too much about where to place them by hand. And this is where the .scat file that ships with this actually makes a lot of sense. 
Now to use this is very, very simple. All you need is the biome tool that we talked about on the channel before, which you can definitely get. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get this free tool and it's from the folks at BD3D, creators of Scatter, and they've just released these as a free one. So for you to start playing with the clouds and having them anywhere and however you want, you can simply use the eyedropper, select the object that you want. And if you click on open biomes, you notice that we've already placed this ones here before. But for you to place yours, you need to go over to the preference section and right around here, you need to click on the word install a package. So go over to the section where you download at this right here. I have it within my D drive cloudscape and you can click on the .scat file. Now, once you click on the .scat file, click on install. One thing you need to know is this tells you installation is successful. And then it goes ahead to tell you that they're setting blend files and stuff that it doesn't find. Neglect all of that. Click on OK. Go back to the biomes and you'll be able to see this. Now, with this object selected, select any of these ones that you want. So let's say you want to create a cloudscape like this. Click on that and that will load the cloudscape right around here. And once you have that, press the tab key to go into edit mode with this object selected. And if you tap S on the keyboard and scale all the way out, you now start noticing that you have cloud. If I proceed to scale this more, you now notice that we have even way more. And at the same time, if you're working with a biome scatter or you're working with a geo scatter from the folks at BD3D, you can, of course, do some very interesting things with this. So at this point, you can choose to turn this off. So if there's anyone that you're not working with, or probably don't want to work with within your viewport, you can turn them off and you will notice that you have more quicker performance. And if we switch over to this, or maybe I switch over to this other one and turn this off, we can select the first one so let's just scrap that and you can also choose to play with the density so you now have full control of how this actually behaves within your viewport so you like to drop the scale down you want to increase the scale you want to play with the randomization whatever you want to do you now have access to doing all of that alongside playing with individual assets that you can find within your asset browser something else which is also very interesting is if you would like to speed up performance in certain cases when you go over to your render section, you can go all the way down to where you find the light path. Now within the light path, you can go all the way down and you can play with volume. So you probably want to drop the volume down a bit or you might want to increase it depending on how much scattering effect you would like to have when rendering your scene. And for those who like to take a look at Cloudscape, links to this is going to be in the description alongside the coupon code where you can save yourself 25% as a launch offer. At the same time, if you go over to the folks at B Production, you would also notice that their real wood texture is also doing 25%. So just in case you're looking for high quality, realistic wood textures, then you might want to consider checking this out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.